to give a special thanks to Sweet Sweet and Just Play for giving us some of these items as a gift for free. What's up doll collectors, hobbyist, fab some besties? We are still hanging out in one of our new spaces. This is our little corner room from one of our more recent Versus videos. And I thought it would make a good backdrop to look at some stuff. Like this Lori accessory pack. It was $12.99 online from Target. I have a little white robe here. It was made for six inch dolls. I have it on a Barbie Extra Mini. They're about five and a half inches tall. It's a little long in the sleeves, but overall, not terrible. But check out these little accessories. Loving the retro phone. It matches my room. It is a little small for a 1-6 scale doll, but I think we can get away with it. There's a fabric eye mask, house shoes that are a little too large, toiletries, a silver tray, a dessert platter with some pastries, a cover, a coffee maker, cup of coffee, bowl of strawberries, a plate, toast, eggs, waffles, butter, a knife and fork, and a newspaper. Looks good to me. This is the Coffee Shop Sweets and Accessories pack. There's a tiered tray with cupcakes and croissants, a gold colored waffle maker and waffles for two, a coffee pot, two cups of coffee, and two bags of coffee. Here it is with the dolls. We have smoothies, iced coffee. The iced coffee can be removed. Three little individual donuts on a dessert tray with a top. Lemon pie with a slice cut out. We might want to paint the side right there yellow. Quinoa salad, tarts, and fruit chips. And two little cacti. Perfect for our room. Even though the scale is a little small, I like the Lori doll accessories for their details and colors. At Sweet Sweet, we saw Twilight Daycare collectible babies from Wow We. We've already seen some of these in stores. It's a Roblox figure of a giant baby. We do have some articulation here, so that's pretty cool. It's a little under six inches, around the size of a Barbie extra doll. It has accessories, so we can dress it up. There's a card and a code to redeem in the game. Also from Wowie, here are fashion fidgets. It is in a surprise box. We don't know which one we're going to get. It looks like I have to pull one of these tabs. Yeah, right here. Aww. Here is the doll. It's a small doll on a little keychain with some fidget toy elements. We can push those in, the cheeks make noises, as well as this little heart here. LOL Surprise loves mini sweets. LOL Surprise dolls with candy themes. Oh wow, the capsules are not plastic and everything inside is paper. I believe this is the doll. And we have hot tamales. The doll comes with a bag, a bottle, an outfit, so we can dress her with a bracelet, shoes, and flame sunglasses. Yeah! I love that the packaging is made out of paper, and I think we can craft something with this. I have a plastic cap. This came from some spices, gold contact paper, recycled paperboard from packaging, and marble contact paper. I take the other side of the capsule, the one with the lip, and trace it on recycled paperboard, trace a few and cut them out, stack and glue them together, cover it with contact paper. I take the other side of the capsule and glue in a support, glue the circles onto the top. Mine fits inside. Let's glue the cap to the bottom, cover it with gold contact paper to make a miniature coffee table. Don't you just love recycling? Now where was I? Oh yeah, this is the LOL Surprise Loves Mini Sweets surprise o -matic. It's a plastic capsule that has little compartments with doll accessories for the included doll. 
It's a little vending machine. That is pretty cool. Can we get the next thing to come out? Aw, oh, man. We can also just open the doors. Everything is wrapped in plastic. And here is our doll. We got Twizzlers. I think the capsule's pretty cool. We could probably use this with our OMG dolls as a vending machine. I am kind of on the lookout for hair amazing dolls now. This doll was $4.44 at Walmart. It's a fashion doll with the basic five points of articulation, but they come with fabric fashion. I've already tested out a few swimsuits and I want to see how this fits. We have a shiny skirt here with no closures. The material does pull a little when putting it on to a Barbie. It comes with a white graphic tee. I like the collar and I'll probably tuck under the bottom of the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt and give it a quick stitch when I get the time. The shoes have a serious incline. They're too large and too steep for Barbie. Almost fit a naturalista. Here's a rainbow high doll. It was a little snug getting it on. Integrity toy doll and OMG Fierce. From Just Play, here is Art Squad. These are dolls centered around crafting. They each have a unique art project. There are four different characters and we are taking a look at Andy. I've seen these dolls priced at $24.99. They are articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Here is the foot. We can customize her look with stickers to change her eye makeup, markers to color, her accessories and fashion. Going from this to this. This doll has glasses, a doll stand, hairbrush, a picture and a picture frame where we can color the picture, then display it in the frame. She has a gumball machine purse that is actually a bead storage container with colorful beads and charms to make a bracelet that's human sized. From world's smallest, there are miniature board games that we can actually play. They're a perfect size for the dollhouse. This is the board game Blockus. This is a magnet. It was a little bit of a challenge to get it out. It has little magnet pieces that stick to the board game. I've never played this game, so I don't really know how it goes. Here's a little miniature wagon. It feels like it's actually made out of metal. That's cool. Masters of the universe. I love the little micro figures. They make fantastic dolls for dolls. Speaking of dolls, we finally got Barbie Fashionista number 193. This is a Ken doll. Oh no, there's a new guy. This is a Slim Ken with rooted hair, which means I'm pretty much just going to steal his clothes. Ooh, that was close. He wears a pink and black sleeveless hoodie. I kind of do wish it had sleeves and black sweatpants with an elastic waistband. He has a pale cream colored shoe and here's his clothes on a classic Barbie. From the Barbie Inspiring Women series, here is Madam CJ Walker. I bought this doll from Amazon for $35. Madam CJ Walker was an entrepreneur and the nation's first documented self-made female millionaire. She began selling Madam Walker's wonderful hair grower, then began recruiting sales agents, opened a factory, a salon, and a beauty school. As her enterprises grew, so did her commitment to philanthropy, giving donations to organizations like orphanages and black colleges. She was also an activist for civil rights. This is a Barbie signature doll and comes with a doll stand, a small jar of wonderful hair grower that can open. She has the Nichelle face sculpt, curly dark brown hair pulled back. There's a little twist across the front. She has some earrings. Are they removable? Come on. Yes, they are. She wears a purple high collar top with blue flowers, puff sleeves and a large ruffle. She wears a blue skirt with a tiny hint of green. I like the fabric. It's a long skirt 
and it's hemmed at the bottom. She wears slate blue boots. I know this is supposed to be Madam CJ Walker, but the sci-fi fan in me can only see Whoopi Goldberg from Star Trek. She looks just like Guinan from the episode Time's Arrow. Come on, Trekkies, who sees it? When they go back in time to find out what happened to Data. This is a curvy Barbie. She is articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Yeah, you're totally joining my cast of Star Trek. From Sweet Sweet, here is Cats versus Pickles. It looks like a plush. You could end up with one cat or a pickle. And we have a cat. Yes, this is GPS Cat. It's really soft and there's little pellets in the bottom like a bean bag. Hmm. We could probably use this as a doll bean bag. Just lean it up against a wall for an instant doll bean bag. I don't know, it might work. There are lots of little cats and pickles, but these are a mystery bag, so you don't know which one you're going to get. I saw new Barbie fashion packs at Walmart. They are now priced at $5.97. Similar packs used to be $4.97, but you know, inflation. We get a top, shorts, a little headband, and a watch. I despise these little plastic things. They put holes in the clothes. It has a nice little retro vibe. I think it's cute. However, I would have liked for these to have been tucked under and sewn. I am late to the party, but I have a new love for Harry Potter Magical Minis. I was looking for dolls in a 124 scale for the little dollhouse kit we were working on. When I saw these at Walmart, I thought they were perfect. They were a little over $5 each, and we got Harry and Hermione. They are posable with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. Then I went on Amazon and found a lot more. Like this friendship set, it was on sale. Originally priced at $10.50, I got these for $7.70. It's Ron and Jenny Weasley. Jenny comes with Arnold and Ron comes with Scrabbers. For a little over $4, I got Hagrid, Hermione, and Fang on sale. I can balance some of the figures to stand, however some I cannot. I can't get this Hermione to stand, but Hagrid works pretty good. Even though he is much larger, we still have some articulation. Ooh, his legs move individually. But I am loving this very cartoonish look. I found quite a few of these friendship packs. I might have gone crazy. Here's Harry and Cho and Hedwig with an envelope. He can hold the little envelope. And yo, the owl fits on his arm. However, these two Harrys are pretty similar. This one has a scarf, but it is removable. And once we remove it, I think they're pretty much the same. Well, his robe is opened more, so. Here is Cho and George Weasley. These were not on sale. They were about $10.50. The lollipop is attached to her hand and cannot be removed, just like most of the wands. It comes with a little jar of candy and one of those Every Flavor Beans candy boxes. Now these are a good size for our 1-6 scale dolls if your doll is a Harry Potter fan. Here is Ron and Parvati. Please forgive me if I am saying that wrong. They come with a little jar of something, some butter beer. Ron's hat is removable and he doesn't have anything in his hands. Luna Lovegood and Cho with their Patronus. There was a Hogsmeade collector set for $29. The box has a set inside. There are little cardboard cutouts that we can put together to add to the scene. There's a street lamp with a sign and a wooden bench. I love that the packaging becomes a part of the playset, that we can use it as a backdrop. However, I'm totally greedy here and I would have liked for these to have been something a little sturdier than paperboard. 
but I can understand if they were trying to reduce cost because we do get seven figures with this set, like Neville, Luna, Ron, but he is a double if you got the friendship pack. We have a new Harry holding candy, Hermione in a purple jacket with a beanie, Ginny in blue, and Draco. I think his hat comes off. Yeah! If you would like something a little larger, I picked up these 8 inch fashion dolls for 10 to $8. The hair could use a little attention, but I do think the doll has an adorable face. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. She has fabric fashion with printed details. The top is connected to the skirt and Velcro's in the back. She comes with a removable wand and removable shoes. Her shoes fit a classic Barbie, by the way. Hermione's socks are painted on. There is a Luna Lovegood doll as well. Their faces do seem a little different to me. Luna has a pointier chin and Hermione's face seems a little more square. Luna wears a similar outfit, but in Ravenclaw colors. Her legs are completely gray for tights. Overall, I think they're pretty cute. But if you are looking for a little more articulation in a mini doll, let's check out LOL Surprise Tweens Series 3. This doll was $19.99 at Target, standing around 7 inches tall. This is Chloe Pepper. She has multicolored hair styled into two pigtails, rosy cheeks with freckles, a leather jacket with faux fur sleeves, a leather skirt, and a blue bodysuit. She can move at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, hip, and there is a bend and snap knee. She wears socks with blue and white shoes, comes with a doll stand, has a comb, three surprises, including glasses, a purse that can open, earrings and a necklace, a little book to finish her look. I found Mini LL Surprise Winter Family Series 2 at Target for $10.99. I only bought one because I do think they're a little expensive. The ball has a lot going on, including a little ski lift. It is a little awkward to me. All of the surprises are individually wrapped, so we just have to unwrap everything. It's a little hat. And this is, what is this? It's a little bird. Was that like an owl? Okay. And this is our little mini OMG doll. We got Icy Girl and Burr BB. The surprises were hats and doll stands to dress and display the mini figures. The mini figure can fit on the ski lift and go, go down. There we go. Okay. If you're looking for more surprises, Super Impulse now has Sugar Buzz Minis and Minis in stores. I found this at Target. It was $7.99, which I think is a little expensive. I'm saying that a lot now. Seems like everything is definitely costing more. There are two minis included, one you can see and one you can't. Inside of the minis, there are more minis. Little tiny minis. There were three little strawberry syrups inside the larger strawberry syrup. So I guess we could use this for our 1 6 scale dolls and maybe our 1 12 scale or maybe 1 24. My second mini is peanut chews. And inside there are smaller peanut chews. Like they're really tiny. Ooh, these could be like Halloween candy that you give out, you know, like the little mini ones. Or we can use them with the magical minis. For more mini food, there are mini brands. I can easily find both of these in stores. However, the price has gone up. They were $7.99 and $8.99 at Target. I remember getting these for $6.99 earlier. So, you know, inflation. I don't know if you're seeing a price difference in your area. I'm just telling you what I saw. 
I only bought one because I know that we can make some stuff ourselves and that's a cart. Yep, that's a cart. Okay, we're just gonna move on from that one and open the next one. Ooh, Sunny D. Do we have one of these already? I don't remember. All right, we're just gonna go through all of these. This is Teddy Grahams. Yep, we've seen those before. Doubles happen, doubles happen. That looks like hand sanitizer. And this is, this is, what is that, a burrito? Yep, sometimes there's money in these. At least I've been told that. And no money for me. And of course, all of these are a good size for a one six scale dollhouse. Foodie mini brands are next. I also paid $6.99 for these a while back. Ooh, we can make a pink table. Hopefully we'll get more stuff for our food court today. This one's pretty thin. It's a bag. Oh man, ah, ribs from TGI Fridays. I mean, yay! All I want is a tray. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> a tray! What's this? Oh, we got another menu, which is what we needed because we have two tables, so yay! And here we have a cookie stuck to a piece of plastic. All right. And last, and hopefully not least, we have coffee from Hardee's. Disney Dorables Series 8, now with turning red figures. That's all I want. That and the fairies. For $4.99, we got Mini Peak. There are two to three Dorables inside. And I'm just gonna open it. Hopefully we got three, cause then that, you know, means we got more for our money. Our first one is um, Alice, and it looks like she's upside down. Okay. Disney Dorables have glittery eyes, and they're a good size to be dolls for dolls. My second one is difficult to open, apparently. There we go. And what's that? Candlehead from Wreck-It Ralph. This is the multi-peak. We'll find five to seven figures inside. I just open the cover and we have some little doors here. Oh, it says pool. Follow instructions, Toya. And we want turning red. Turning red, turning red, turning red. Yeah, we got Mei Lin. I already got what I want. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Like boo. And... A fairy! Yeah! I'm actually doing pretty good today. Can you believe that? Oh, This is Pegasus, and this is an ultra rare fairy. My last one is Rare Baby Moana. And that's a few things you might see on the shelf. Madam CJ Walker is definitely one of my favorites. I am totally turning her into Guinan from Star Trek. I think the magical minis are a lot of fun, especially for Harry Potter fans. And the Lori doll accessories are also a fave. Thank you for joining us for another What's on the Shelf. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. 